Hey guys, Brad M73, and I'm back with another. Uh, this will be a kind of a another catch up, a uh, little bits and uh, version of my Star Wars Build the Millennium Falcon. But it's basically going to be uh, more of a painting tutorial. Now, um, I've, I've done a few pieces here, and hopefully, let's see if I can focus on this. Hopefully, you can see how this turned out, and actually. I, just looking at it through the camera as to compared to like real life, I think it looks even better in you know real life. Um, so I kind of wanted to show because uh, some you know several people have said, "Oh, th that looks really cool. How do you do that?" So I'm kind of going to paint a few of these panels, and I'm actually going to show you how you can achieve something like this or something like this. So hopefully you can see the detail on this panel here. If you want to do something like that, then uh, you should watch and follow along. So um, I'm going to kind of set these panels back here. Okay, I guess they'll just want to sl slide down wherever they want to go. Um, there's <clears throat> a couple things that you'll probably want to need, and I hope that I didn't just knock into my tripod here. Um, the first thing is you're gonna need some water. I just have like some tap water in a bottle here. Um, I have my testers create effects uh, acrylic wash, which is really, really, really awesome. Um, I have actually a little cap, like a little bottle cap here, like from a water bottle that I can uh, essentially dip my brush into uh, to get it wet. And so we'll be doing that. And actually, let me move these out of the way. Um, I'm actually, I don't want these pieces in here. I don't want these in. So we'll get, move these out. You could, you could, uh, you know, I could do it with those pieces in there, but I thought, nah, it'll just be easier. Uh, we won't have to worry about getting paint on those. But I'm gonna start out with this little piece here. And this actually is uh, the corner piece. Uh, for this other piece right here, you kind of go like this. So I'm going to start to uh, paint this. So the first thing I want to do, I also want to get a piece of, uh, actually a couple pieces of paper towel. And I'm just going to rip, I have the select the sheet size. So I'm going to kind of rip this one piece in half. I'm going to have uh, the other piece uh, just for kind of wiping my brush on and uh, I'm going to have a, this other piece that I'm going to kind of use to wipe the um, the uh, excess eh, uh, you know the excess wash away so that um, you know it doesn't go on too too dark now the first thing I want to do is just get my brush wet and kind of wet this this panel here and you you do kind of need to be a little bit careful because you know it's a acrylic wash or I'm sorry it's an acrylic airbrushed on and so you don't want to actually remove too much of the finish so with this just make sure I've shaken this thing up like a gazillion times um, and I just kind of just go for it Dip this in here and um, and just kind of paint some streaks um, down like this, maybe around the corners. You want it a little bit darker, like so. Maybe around the ends here. Maybe a couple little streaks in the center. Um, then, whoops. Then what I want to do is I just want to take a little piece of paper towel. Now, if you have a dry brush, um, you could also use a dry brush. Actually, this one's not even dry. Um, so I'm just going to use a paper towel because I don't think I have a, another dry brush handy. And I'm just going to start pulling that paint down towards me. And this is actually also going to kind of dry off the surface a little bit. And there's going to be a little bit of roughness in the paper towel and some of that is actually 
kind of going to come off. I don't know if you can kind of see how it's kind of a little rough surface, but some of that actually comes off and it kind of texturizes that surface a little bit. So anyway, what I'm going to start doing is kind of putting this on a little bit heavier and really kind of streaking it. Now it, it doesn't really look that great when it's still really super wet like this, but as it dries over time, um, it actually starts to, I think, in my opinion, I think it starts to look even better and better. And kind of get it darker here up at the top. And again, just going to kind of pull that color down towards the bottom. I think I actually have it kind of the way. I want it on the side there because it's actually going to mate up with this piece right here. So I kind of want to make sure that those match a little bit in the corners. So maybe I might want to go a little bit darker down here at the bottom. Now another thing to know is, um, whoops. See, I'm getting a little bit of a bubble in here, which I don't want. And it probably looks really super dark right now because it's still wet. So I'm going to set that aside for a moment. I'm going to let that kind of start to dry off. Uh, the next piece is actually the piece that goes behind here. And again, I kind of want to just get it wet, like where this little notch is. Maybe we can, you know, really make that heavy there. Um, but I'm kind of neglecting the wetness here. <laughs> So I want this on the whole surface. And again, it doesn't have to be super, you know, heavy on the water, just enough so that, uh, you know, we can kind of pull some streaks down and that's because of the way I did that, it's kind of bubbling up a little bit. And um, we'll kind of build in some layers here. Again, I'm going to, Kind of go in to the corner, make this a little bit darker. Oh, it's bubbling because the um, the bubbles are in the paint from where I was shaking it. Eh. So I kind of want these, you know, dark streaks every once in a while. And if I kind of want to see what it's going to look like, you know, what all I have to really do is just pop in one of the corner pieces and then I can just kind of hold it up and say, you know, I don't know if you can't really see that too well. Um, I can say, yeah, I kind of like the way that looks or no, I don't. I think I need to go darker. And again, with it being not dried yet, um, it might, uh, might, look a little bit different um, when you know once it's dry so again I kind of want to pull try to go straight down from that little crevice there maybe there's like a pipe or something up there that's leaking and uh, so on so so I'm gonna kind of dry my brush off a little bit and um, now I have um, only because I couldn't find Tamiya orange anywhere locally um, as I have this uh, uh, Vallejo acrylic colors, it's uh, clear orange is what it's called. FS32246. I don't know what the what the numbers are. Made in Spain. Ooh. And um, I'm just going to take a little bit of this. I'm going to kind of put this just a little dot of it out on a, on my paper towel here. 
And this is actually kind of going to be my rust, okay? And I don't need a whole lot of it, but um, I don't really even need to combine it that much with uh, the other colors. So I'm going to put a couple rust streaks in here. Now, right now, it's looking really super orange, okay? Um, so I'm going to wipe that off. I'm going to go get a little bit of water again here so I can really get that orange out of my brush. And then I'm going to just start to pull this, this color down like this. And if I need to go back and um, add some more of the, the dark wash, I can do that. Uh, we could put some browns in there if we want. Um, you could even do some blacks, like if you really want um, something really super black. I don't really like to go absolutely black just because it really, really gets things dark. But um, maybe a little bit of German gray. Let's try some of that. And again, you know, we can just kind of use that for some of these streaks here. And just draw those uh, streaks out. And sometimes it actually helps to do this with a wider brush, um, especially like drawing some of these streak lines. But um, you know, I think that that's going to actually match up very well with the corner piece. Where did I put the? Is it hiding from me? Where did I put that? Oh. <laughs> I put it over here. Ah, sorry about that, guys. So we have this wall piece now that looks like this. And I think that's pretty freaking cool looking. You know, look, look how good that looks, guys. Look at that. I think that's going to be pretty good. Um, <clears throat> again, I could kind of, I'm going to kind of wait and see, you know, once I have, uh, you know, more of these pieces dirtied up, I'm actually going to go back and see, um, <clears throat> you know, how much I think I need to continue uh, weathering these, these pieces. So um, next I'm going to do these pieces here. Uh, let's get some water on here. Again, a lot of this stuff we're not actually not even going to see. Um, let's, well, actually I can just leave this out. Okay. This is nice and wet in the front. Sorry, I'm trying to show you and my hand is in the way again. And we can also kind of go up these pieces as well. And Okay, and I'm just going to kind of run this across, run this across the back, and just kind of dirty up the front here. And I'm going to see if I can do this, I'll try to do one of the sides of these little supports here. Now, I don't know if there's going to be like another girder that goes on top of these. I would hope so. Actually, I don't even need to do this side, but why not? It would be nice if they do like another girder that goes on top of this, um, but I don't know if they will or not. Okay, so I'm going to get my, my wash here. I'm just going to kind of go down again, just trying to get all this dirty.
And some of the, you know, sometimes it's going to be really dark. Uh, and that's all right. Okay. Oh, and then we got to do this side over here. Don't want all these pieces super dark. But you do want it to look like, you know, they're, they're dirty. You know, there's been steam and oil shooting all over the place. So, uh, you know, just kind of, just kind of go with it. And as, again, as these pieces dry off, you can kind of look at them again and really see, okay, this is where I need to kind of redo some of the color or, you know, maybe you've put in too much color and you need to kind of wash it back out with some, you know, some water and, um, hopefully... You guys are kind of seeing what I'm doing there. So it's uh, really kind of just dirtying this piece up. And um, I think that's going to be all right for right now. I don't know if I can get a little bit of orange in there in a couple spots. Just, you know, it's just kind of like there's a, you know, a couple rust spots or something like that. That, um, you know, need to be, you know, sandblasted and repainted by Han and Chewy, But they're too busy running th from the Empire. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to move this out of the way since we don't need that. And let's take a look at this piece. And we can kind of see it's kind of plain looking. Um, now, the other thing too is, it's since it's gonna be sitting behind this piece like that, you know, it doesn't really need to be super detailed, but it is still kind of, I think a little bit too plain. So let's, um, let's try to, kind of color it up again just a little bit okay and again we'll get a little bit of that orange okay And then I'm just going to pull this down. So we've got some nice rust colors in there, which I like. Okay, so much more interesting. Much, much. Uh, so we'll let that dry. Um, we've got this big wall piece, uh, which is going to kind of set behind where the bunk is, which this one is probably the one that you can go the easiest on because chances are you're not really going to be looking at too much from this angle, but we'll see. I know a lot of you guys uh, doing the kits are, you're, you're going totally crazy and painting in all kinds of, um, you know, new features and putting in your own greeblies and things like that to kind of detail out, um, the uh, hold area, which is pretty cool. So let's go. And I'm just using this brush. It's I'm keeping it dirty because I want it dirty. I like it dirty. And, um, you just, uh, you know, if you, if you mix up some of your colors, it's not really that big of a deal because, you know, you want it to be weathered like that. That's the, that's what you want. Um, now around here, around these pipes, 
um, is I really want it nice and dark. Both sides of these pipes coming out of the walls it needs to be really nice, really dark. I'm going to have to probably go over that a few times. Um, again, we're just kind of pulling some of this detail out here from the ceilings. Might be some some detail coming out of that uh, corner again since it's nice and dark back in there. Hopefully you guys are seeing this all right. Trying to keep it uh, as straight as possible. And again, just trying to make it really nice and dark around the uh, pipes here. Because when you put the pipes on there, it's going to look like, you know, these things have been, you know, leaking and, you know, all kinds of stuff. Who knows what they've been leaking. Okay. So, now I'm just kind of going to go around the wall uh, with some water here and just make, you know, some, some areas need to be probably a bit thicker with the wash than others. Especially back in these corners, you can always put it on really nice and thick back here. Okay, that's maybe a little bit too thick, but that's all right. We can kind of spread this around. Okay, I'm just going to kind of coat this bottom here. See, it might have gone a little bit too dark. Let's try to lighten that up just a bit. Okay. And if you do go too dark, you know, you can always add some water and just kind of brush it out a bit. Okay. Again, I'm just trying to pull, kind of pull this color down with this uh, paper towel here. And it's actually looking pretty good. I'm pretty much like where I'm at with this piece or with this side. Um, so I might try, I don't know how much of the orange I have left, but Definitely want to try to make some rust streaks around the pipe areas so that those will be, you know, kind of visible. And then, you know, just make a couple orange, you know, kind of rusty streaks coming down just every once in a while. I don't, I don't like to kind of overdo it, but, um, you know, you can have a few... And I do like them coming down from this. Oh no, I just flipped over my little water. That's all right. 
Um, I do like to have them coming down from the ceiling instead of, you know, kind of midway up. Now, on this one, because we have some details on the wall, um, hopefully, here, let me zoom in here. You can actually see where I've got some um, rust streaks coming down, like here and down next to this control panel. So, um, but we don't, you know, because the other side is so you know, really featureless, aside from the pipes, um, you know, there's not really too much to do there. So I'm going to let these dry and then we'll come back in a moment and we'll see uh, what they look like. Okay, so it's actually the next day and I've given all of these, um, all the walls a nice chance to dry so that you can kind of see what's going on in here. And as I turn... Um, you know, we, we can really see how this kind of looks, uh, very rusty maybe. And, and if I don't like the texture, um, I can always go back, um, and wet it again. Um, I do realize that I need to do this corner piece here. Um, and as we come on around, um, you'll, I, the other thing I noticed is like all the painting that I did around these pipes, it, none of it really mattered. Because you can't see, you can't see behind those uh, support pieces anyway. But we've got some nice, um, you know, kind of rust spot looking bits on uh, on the, uh, you know, these these five support frames here. Um, you can really see uh, the detail in the floor. Um, but this was as before. Um, I'm still not happy with this couch though, and. I think it's Tony RR has like a replacement couch. Um, it's kind of just a drop in. So all I would really have to do is prime it and paint it. Um, I think he's got it on Shapeways. Um, I still need to um, do the, uh, the little instruments up here. Uh, I need to put the tube in the corner that goes up there. But uh, I'm really, really liking the way this is turning out so far. Oh, and then the next thing I'm going to do, I don't know if I want to do it on camera or off, but I'm just going to, you know, glue in the panels here. I'm actually going to paint the two, there's two little holes there where the, um, uh, a couple plant-on pieces fit in there. And I was looking at the pictures of the real you know, console that they used in the movies, and they actually look like stainless steel or aluminum lever, like kind of switch lever kind of things. I don't really know exactly how else to describe them. And so I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to paint those like uh, that aluminum color that I have. And then, uh, then we also have the little plant on kind of like a view screen. I don't know if it's a view screen. It's like a little red bit there. So this is actually going to be next. Don't know if I'm going to do that on video or not, but uh, just kind of wanted to, you know, to show you guys um, how these walls turned out. Really happy with it. Um, still don't have these pieces glued in, but I'll have to get that done uh, fairly soon. But um, yeah, I'm really, I really am happy with uh, the way this turned out. So thanks again for watching, guys. Hopefully uh, this painting technique has helped you. Maybe it, you know, you can use it or add to it or use a variation of it. You know, whatever, you know, whatever you want to do or however your cre creativity hits you. Oh, my pipe is, I still need to dirty up the pipes and obviously screw all this in because you can see the pipe is just kind of hanging down there, not doing anything. But, uh, and I'm not even sure if they're in properly as far as like the color goes. And I don't even know if that really matters that much, to be honest. But, uh, but yeah. So anyway, yeah, hopefully uh, this has helped you hit like if it did, if it uh, does or did. And I really appreciate, you know, appreciate you guys watching once again for another Star Wars Build the Millennium Falcon video. Um, I'm Bradham73 and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.